Device vibrations are a very good form of feedback for your application and today we are going to learn how you can put them into your app as well. So let's get started with creating a new project and empty activity and name it however you want. Now select the minimum SDK you want your app to run on and click on the finish. Wait for the project to load. And the first thing we need to do is ask for the permission to use the vibrations of your device. So let's put that into our app. So we will just tell the app that they want to use the vibrate permission, which will be automatically granted by the system as it's, as it's not some critical permission like camera or other that we would need to interact with the user to ask for the permission. Now go to the layout file, which you can find the rest and layout folder. And we are going to put a button that will start the vibration vibrations once we, once we click on it. So we are going to use a linear layout and we need to specify an orientation. And I also want to put the button to the center, so I'm gonna put gravity as well. Now I would like to make this device a little bit smaller and I want to put a button here. Which will just state vibrate now. Okay. That's it for our, lay for our layout and we just have to also put an ID to it. So one more thing and we are done with the layout. Perfect. Now let's go to our class main activity and let's initialize the button. Don't forget to import the class if you are missing it. And now for the vibrations we are going to need to use a vibrator class. And we also need to initialize it. Okay, and now we just need to check if your app is below the API of version 26. You need to check for it because the syntax is a little bit different. So I will do it just in case you are running on a lower API. So if your API is above 26, then you are good to go and you will be using the new syntax. I have the warning because my API is set to the minimum level of 29, but in your case it may be different, so it was a good practice to make sure it will work for you as well. So in this case we can just simply write v that vibrate and for how long in milliseconds, and 500 is like half a second. I'm getting a dep uh, depreciation warning, but that doesn't apply to me. And now for our SDK of over 26 we have to use a little bit different syntax. And this is the syntax for the new API versions above 26. So now when we run our application we can try if it's working but only on a real device which I'm not able to show you as I am using emulator. So if you want to try it go over plug your real device to your PC and try to run it on the real device. So the app has opened and when I click on the vibrate now button 
the phone should start vibrating for uh, 500 milliseconds. But I am using the emulator, so of course it's not vibrating. Thank you for watching, I hope this video has helped you. If it did, please subscribe to our channel and like the video. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment and I will try to answer them all. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.